Hello and welcome to a brand new video here on the JB Visuals YouTube channel where in this video I'm actually going to be ranking the five major rides at Joyland from worst to best. Now Joyland is a children's fun park that opened way back in 1949 and is home to a variety of different classics from the world famous award winning snails to the world's only remaining Virginia reel still left in operation. And this video is going to focus on talking about why I chose to rank these rides from worst to best and of course share my opinions and what I think about the rides along the way. So without further ado, let's get started. So starting at number 5, we have the Jet Cars. Now this classic attraction opened way back in 1974 and is a little powered ride that has a train of 6 Jet Cars that rumble and under their way down uh, through the mountain. Now to be honest, um, it's not a bad ride, but um, it just lacks the theming. There's not much really to see, because of course the walls are mainly bland. There's nothing uh, to look at apart from uh, a few lights that are on the walls. I, I remember that they added in the um, Toy Story themed lights uh, a few years ago. So it actually creates a little bit of um, brightness, uh, something to see when you go round. I also like the way that they actually uh, painted the jet cars and they're all different colours of the rainbow and they have little rockets and stars on them and I also noticed that on the sides of the cars they actually have the names of some famous space rockets uh, that are used by NASA so each one is, is named after a famous space rocket used in the NASA missions. To be honest, uh, the ride's not the ride's not really my cup of tea because of course it's quite rough, uh, it's quite noisy and old because of course um, it's, it's built on like the ground, the tracks are all ground and that and it's just very loud and it's quite intense on the corners but you know, I, I would definitely push it up a little bit if they updated the ride, maybe, but you know, it's still a little ride to uh, go on, you know, just to experience and that, but the jet cars are definitely not the best ride at Joyland, in my opinion. Coming in at number four is the Spook Express roller coaster. Now, Spook Express uh, opened in Joyland in 1998, made by British uh, roller coaster company called WGH Transportation, uh, which were responsible for building a some different little junior coasters in other parts of the country and yeah what I do like about Spook Express is that it's very colourful the nice green and brown mountain and with lots of um, different uh, theming so there's like a lot of toys uh, to look at when you're actually going round and you've also got the, um, the actual mountain as well and I do feel like that the coaster has a really <clears throat> a nice little bit of theming with the castle uh, station, you've got like uh, Frankenstein on the top, you've also got a ghost and a tree, you know, just to really make the um, ride a bit more themed. Now what I do also like about the coaster is how it's the actual experience because of course it only has two drops. The first one is a nice slow drop where it actually makes its way into the tunnel and and then also in the tunnel you then have the actual helix which I really like which is actually in the dark and you do get two laps round which is really good uh, for two pound and what I feel like that the coaster uh, does need is maybe the dark tunnel could have a little bit of lighting in there maybe like some orange and green lights you know just to maybe add a bit of spooky ambience and match the colours you know that would be really nice to see uh, because of course I know it's quite dark and thrilling, but of course, maybe some lighting would be really, really exciting, you know, just to make the ride a bit more exciting uh, for the experience. But overall, a nice classic coaster and a lot to look at as well. Heading into the top three rides now, and at number three, we have the tubs. Now, this is a really, really fun ride, which I really enjoy going on at Joyland. Uh, because it's also the world's only Virginia reel left in operation. The tubs have been operating in Joyland since 1950 and this ride uh, features tubs uh, spinning round in one direction and then change um, 
and on a direction as you go through the actual ride experience and it actually goes along a zigzag track so you start at the top and then of course you then make your way downwards getting some really good spins along the way and of course the spins really make it fun and funny at the same time and you, you will definitely have a good laugh uh, when you're actually um, spinning around and you do get quite a good spin when you're on your own sometimes and sometimes if you've gone with people you'll definitely get uh, more of a spin but I do really like how well themed the tubs are so it's got like a um, I think it's like an Austrian Alps sort of theming and then of course you've got like a nice uh, water, waterfall uh, with a water wheel uh, which is nice and then of course obviously what I really like about that every couple of years they actually change the design of the tubs you know uh, this year they actually had like a fire flame one they also had one with hands on it as well which was really good you know I do really like the way they actually change the um, designs of the tubs but overall the tubs is definitely a fun and enjoyable ride uh, if you want to have a bit of a laugh and of course have a bit of a spin as well so at number two we have the classic Neptune's Kingdom Dark Ride. Now this ride has actually been undergoing some refurbishment over the past few years and what I really enjoy about this ride is the theming that has been done over the years and as a kid many years ago I was a little bit scared because of course it was actually quite dark there was really nothing to see it was all dark and not much theming in there but to be honest this little dark ride has become so much better with the actual changes they've done so over the years I've actually uh, put a giant shark in there they've also added in some new models such as a crab and and a few fish they've also added in well, probably my favorite part of the ride are the skeletons so the first skeleton you see is one playing the piano with all his little fish friends inside the pipes and then probably my favorite part is the skeleton disappearing in the toilet so when you first um, go towards the skeleton uh, you can see you actually see him first and then when you go past him of course the actual uh, ghost effect then comes in so the skeleton is nowhere to be seen and then of course one of my favourite changes of course is the King Neptune animatronic. Um, many years ago Neptune used to be green, it, it was starting to uh, fade a little bit and then I'm really glad that they actually managed to restore the animatronic because of course he does look a lot better uh, with, you know, they restored the beard, the hair, uh, the clothes and the um, crown and the um, trident as well. And then of course I've also added some extra lighting, you know, just to make the ride a little bit more brighter. And yeah, Neptune's Kingdom opened in 1974 and is a really cute little dark ride with lots of bright lighting and so much theming and details to see. And then of course at number one is my favourite ride at Joyland and possibly everyone else's. This of course is the legendary Super Snails. Now, I've been going to Joyland every single year as a kid and you can't go to Joyland without a ride on the classic Super Snails. This ride opened in 1949 and has been thrilling visitors ever since. Now, the big question about the snails, a lot of people probably ask to themselves is, is it classed as a roller coaster? Some say it is, some say it's not. But for me, I don't class it as a roller coaster. I class it as a really nice little track ride with a few little drops in it. And what I do like about the snails is that they take you on a really nice gentle uh, section first. You know, you go on a nice straight track, you get a nice view of the Spook Express coaster, you get a nice view of the greenery and the trees and a few little ornaments. And then of course, as you then go through the second half, the snails then actually take you down these really good drops. Uh, they're very, very thrilling. You know, you also get some really good air time on the three bunny hops uh, towards the end of the ride, uh, which make it so much fun. And then of course, uh, you then uh, head down the final drop and there's also a nice little uh, pond 
uh, with a little water fountain and then of course you then get your photo taken at the end and the snails are always my favourite ride and I also like the way that they actually uh, repaint the snails every couple of years and I do like the designs of all different colours, they all have different faces and of course different coloured ties as well and for me the snails will always be my number one ride.